Happy Tuesday, everybody. That's right, you guessed it. I don't know either how it came so fast, but it's Salmon and Pierogi Day. National Salmon and Pierogi Day? Who thinks of these things? I think they just think of these things because they want me to do videos about it. So today we're gonna combine the two and we're gonna turn a uh, potato pierogi into a potato and salmon pierogi. We're gonna do caramelized onions. We're gonna wrap them in these nice little pierogi wrappers. So um, what do you say we uh, start baking some salmon? So first everybody, we're gonna take our salmon and we're gonna wrap it in foil after we season it, salt and pepper. And then we're gonna wrap it up, make a little pocket out of it so it kind of steams inside the foil and you don't make a mess in your oven. See you a little while, friend. This should take in and around, I don't know, eight minutes, nine minutes, give or take. While that's going on, can't have pierogies without fried onions. So I got a smoking hot pan going on right here. You'll see when I put the oil in. Smoking. And we're gonna take our onions that I've already sliced. You don't need to watch me slice another onion, do you? We've been through this a million times. So we lay them down flat and we put them back on the high heat. We wanna put some color on it. We don't wanna burn them, but we wanna put some color on it so that we have some flavor. I have an already baked potato. We're gonna take a towel of some sort and we're gonna use the towel as friction to pull the skin off the potato. A little skin, no problem. A lot of skin, depends upon who you ask. Don't forget about our onions, I can hear them sizzling. We don't wanna burn them, we just wanna put some color on them. See, we got some hard color on them. Starting to get some nice fried color. Again, as you noticed, I didn't put any seasoning on them because once we add salt, it draws the moisture out of the onions and it prevents them from getting that nice that nice fried color we're looking for. Colors, flavor. Take a spoon, instead of using your thumb, and lift the onions from the pan. Don't want them to stick, because if they'll stick, they'll burn. But we're getting where we want to be here. Now we're gonna just lower the heat a bit and let them go. We're gonna take our potato and we're gonna grate it. Left a little skin on, but we're gonna use that to save our fingers. Got some nice grated potatoes. We're gonna season the potatoes, salt and pepper. We're gonna uh, add a little scallion to it. Just, of course, watch your fingers. Salmon time. Throw a little pocket of salmon out. We're gonna flip it over, open it up, let out the steam. Nice baked salmon. Right about now, we're gonna add a little salt to it just to bring out some of the moisture. That way we can saute the onions and it'll prevent them from burning. So we're gonna take our salmon. We're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull off that black stuff that was by the skin and we're gonna flake it into our potato mixture. You wanna keep this as dry as possible because you don't wanna make the, the pierogi skins too wet or else they won't get any color on them and you'll create holes in them. Now, the fun part. Let's make some pierogies. Dry surface. We're gonna lay our pierogi dough out. Come on, big fella. I know what's in there. There we go. So we're gonna take our filling and kind of ball it up. Don't want to put too much because then you won't be able to you won't be able to close them. Ah, who needs spoons? Onions are done. We're gonna just put those off to the side. I'm gonna oil a plate. We're gonna take an egg wash. It's an egg, a little bit of water, and we're gonna brush the outsides of the pierogies in order for us to stick them together. Just a little bit of egg, don't want too much, not too much egg, so we don't want scrambled eggs sticking out of the side of it. We wanna make the pierogies. So now we're gonna take the pierogi and pick it up. We're gonna fold it over, pinch them together like a dumpling. And then we're just gonna fold it over again using your thumb and finger just to round it out. It's that. It's almost like an empanada, if you will. And then we're gonna do that however many more times I got going on here. 
All right, now we're going to get a hot nonstick pan. Nonstick with some oil. But it's okay. Use Sandals little helper. Just a little bit. And then we're going to put them down. And we're going to get them brown on one side. These are quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, quick. You get a nice color on them. And then we're going to hit it with some white wine because we want to stop the color. But we want to steam the pierogies so that the filling in the inside gets hot. You can use white wine. We can use chicken stock. Turn off the heat. I'm going to use just a spot of chicken stock. If you let the wine go too far down, the pierogies will stick. Now we're going to throw our onions into the pierogi pan. And again, the heat's off. See, no flame. And uh, we're pretty much ready for our salmon pierogi day. So we're going to use a little bit of the onions on the bottom. And then we're going to gently take our pierogies out. And then we're going to take the rest of our onions because we want them all. Can't have pierogies without sour cream, boys and girls. So we're going to take a little bit of our sour cream. And then a little bit more of our scallions that we saved. And there we have it, everybody. Salmon, baked salmon, potato, pierogies with sour cream and fried onions. Happy Salmon and Pierogi Day.